Okay, this is part three, chapters one through five of Lock the Doors. Chapter one, the new house is awesome and we have our own rooms. Plus, dad has an office, so it's basically perfect. Will is running around like a maniac, but no one shouts at him because this is a good day. Mom's talking about counter space, which is apparently a big deal. She talked about it a lot before we moved in and she's still going on about it now. My room's ugly, but dad says we can change that. So I grin and bear it. The old lady next door has already been over with a card and a bottle of wine. Mom said, this is a good neighborhood because where we used to live, no one even looked at each other. When we're all settled, dad hugs me and says, what do you think, Amy? And I tell him it's perfect. And he smiles like that's the right answer. Chapter two, Will loves the garden. He runs around screaming because he's three and that's what he does. When he stands still, I tell him this place is our magic kingdom and he nods all serious and whispers, yes. Then we make up stories about the creatures that live in the bushes and up the trees and behind the shed. They're all different, but they all, but they get along because the garden is so big that they have enough space not to fight over it. Who lives there? Will says, pointing to a hole in the fence. That's where the queen lives. She's in charge, so we don't bother her. I can tell my brother anything and he'll believe me. That's why I stick to good things. Mom says he has an overreactive imagination and I make it worse, but I think I make it better. There isn't really a queen behind the fence. It's a water pumping station, whatever that is, and it's out of bounds. Our parents watch us from the other end of the yard. We have outdoor furniture now and a massive umbrella and they're so happy. Don't run around so much or you'll be sick, Mom tells Will. He bounds over to her and holds his tummy, pretending, and Dad scoops him up and says, It's coming. He's gonna blow. Will's laugh isn't like any other sound in the world. It bursts out of him and carries the rest of us with it. I didn't see... I didn't want Will until he arrived. When Mom said she was pregnant again, I was already seven, and I thought it was too late for a brother. Then he was born. And I changed my mind as soon as I held him. He still likes being cuddled sometimes, but he has to choose. And it's usually when he's tired. The rest of the time he's playing, which is fine by me. I think 10 is a good age to be a big sister. Three, when I get into St. Gregory's Academy for Girls, mom screams and dad hugs me and says, well done, sweetheart. Will gives me a card that is supposed to say congratulations on the front. And even though he doesn't know what that means, it's the thought that counts. What's St. Gregory's? Will asks. Mom says, it's where all the smart kids go. I should be happy, but my friend Kisa said, if you want to get in, you need to be rich, not clever. When I asked dad if we were rich, he laughed and said, no, darling, but we're happy. I didn't tell them what Kisa said because I didn't want to upset them. They always wanted me to go to the girls' academy, so now they've got their wish. They're nearly always happy since Will arrived, but now they're even happier, and I'm the reason. Let's eat out, Dad says. Wherever you want. Anywhere? I ask, and when he nods, I tell him and wait for him to say no. But Mom thinks that's a wonderful idea, and so Dad says, okay, but we'll have to wait until tomorrow. Where I want to go is the castle where the restaurant, with the restaurant where my parents got engaged. But it's not close, and it's not Pizza Hut, which Dad probably expected me to say. We went to the castle once when it was just the three of us, and they told me a story, and I never forgot it. It's not a secret, but it's not for sharing. Mom says some history is everyone's and some is just for us, so I won't tell. It sounds better when Dad tells it anyway. Four. This is where I did it, Dad says, and we're at the lake by the castle and it's beautiful. It was perfect, Mom says, and I believe her. Sometimes when people say something was perfect, it's not true, but it's magical here. The castle isn't just ruins. It's like some places we've been to. It's still all there and you have... And you have to be quiet when you walk around, which is easier for me than Will. It's okay seeing all the rooms, but it's better outside. The sun makes the water look like tinsel, and there are gardens with flowers so red and orange and yellow. It's as if they've been painted. You can sit in a boat while someone pushes you along with a stick. But we don't do that because Will is saying, Maze! 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 Come on then, Dad says, scooping him up and doing Superman until my brother is too tired to laugh. Some things I... Sometimes I think Will needs a leash like a dog because he always likes to see what's next. He's always running around corners and charging ahead, but at least he's safe in the maze. It's not that way, he says. Oh. It's not that way, he says, and come on, and then when the fun wears off, we're lost. 
That's when dad puts Will on his shoulders and he can see the people at the top. They point and my brother guides us. And when we climb the steps, the maze looks like a beautiful pattern, not just bushes. This was a good way to celebrate getting into St. Gregory's, even if I'm scared of what comes next. They reckon you have to be super smart to keep up, and I'm not. Mom says I'll be fine, but that's just what parents say. Some lies make you feel better, but that one doesn't. When we're in the restaurant, Mom tells Will that he needs to be on his best behavior, and he nods. He isn't naughty, though. He's just energetic. Dad holds his glass up. To Amy, we're so proud of you. To Amy, Mom says, and we clink glasses. Will giggles, and a few people look at us and smile. Our parents have their lovely, uh, their lovey eyes tonight, which means they look at each other like there's no one else in the world. I think they always look like this before I was born, but now they save it for special occasions. When we're done, we walk back to the car in our line. Mom is on one end, Dad's on the other, and I'm in the middle with Will. We can only do that when it's quiet or we take up the whole sidewalk. But it's one of my favorite things because it makes me feel strong. Look, Dad says, a star. It's a plane, Mom says. Make a wish anyway. You don't wish on a plane, I say, and Dad says, well, maybe you should. So we all say a wish, one after another, out loud, because our secrets are safe with each other. Five. I'm frightened because today is my first day at St. Gregory's and it doesn't feel exciting anymore. Dad sits next to me on the stairs and says, It's okay to be scared, but everything will be okay, I promise. How do you know? I ask and he smiles. Excuse me, because we've all had that first day, even me. I try to imagine Dad when he was 11, but it doesn't work. Mom rushes into the hall with pink cheeks and a puff and says, Are we, are we, hold on, I have to think of Mom's voice again. Are we ready? Then she crouches next to us. I'm so proud of you, Amy. Wish your sister luck, Dad says, and Will shouts it without even looking away from the TV. In the car, I cry a little bit, and I can't get out right away. We watch the other kids go through the gate, and Mom's hold holds my hand and says, One day, it will be your brother's first day at secondary school, and you can tell him how amazing it is. She wants me to be brave, so I am, even if I'm full of butterflies. I'm strong all the way to the hall where a teacher tells us the rules, and I'm strong in the classroom where Mrs. Solomon says she's our homeroom teacher. The girl sitting next to me whispers, I'm Nia. I'm Amy. She smiles, and I don't feel scared anymore. We sit next to each other in every lesson, and she's good at making me laugh, even when we're not supposed to. At the end of the day, she hugs me and says, See you tomorrow. Mom and dad and Will are in the car and they ask so many questions. I answer them all, but my favorite one is, did you make any friends? Yes, I say. Dad smiles. I told you it would be okay. 